The average human consumes something like 64 gigabytes of data a day. And if you're not using a read it later app to capture the key insights out of all the information you're consuming, and then if you're not using a tool like Obsidian to consolidate that data and find links between it, you're really missing out in the modern age. The problem is that most read it later apps uh, to really get the full effect effectiveness of them, you need to pay. But that has changed with the new tool that's come out called Omnivore. Omnivore is a free open source tool that you can use to sync directly with Chrome uh, and most importantly directly with Obsidian uh, to transfer your insights into Markdown into notes and then connect them with other notes and original ideas in your vault. Um, I'm going to link to the uh, documentation and the web page for Omnivore in the, in the show notes below. Uh, but essentially, get this tool today, guys. It's free. Uh, install it onto your uh, mobile phone and then also install it onto your browser and uh, start syncing notes into Obsidian. I'm going to show you how all that works in just a second. Uh, the key here, and this is kind of a mindset shift, is funnel everything through your Read It Later app. Consume it through your Read It Later app, take highlights on it, auto-sync those highlights into your Obsidian Vault, and then come back to that knowledge over time, rather just con than just consuming hours of YouTube videos, piles of newsletters, piles of articles, and then just having that disappear into the ether. Um, so let me show you how all this works. So here's the homepage. Here are all of the links that I found uh, over the course of the web. Um, that still need to be consumed. I'm showing you guys the web app right now. Um, this also works really well on mobile, but I'm on my computer, so we'll look at it here. Um, how you save articles and videos on the web is just the same as with any other extension. You basically just hit, uh, hit the button here for uh, Omnivore and uh, it jumps right in. So we can see here it saves YouTube videos. These are not the best for highlighting in a Read Later app, but at least you can come back to them instead of having to binge them on the spot. Um, and then you see here we've got um, this article from the New, York, New Yorker. Um, if I wanted to take a highlight here on something, I would just say, hey, this sentence looks interesting. Let me highlight it. Boom, that's done. So this app works just like any other Read It Later app. Uh, but the real killer integration here is if you go into your Obsidian Vault, uh, you go into Community Plugins, you browse, and you look for Omnivore. Um, there it is. So we've already got it installed. Um, this basically syncs those highlights into your vault in Markdown with custom metadata. So we head into the options, uh, general settings. Um, you have to, oh, maybe I will, uh, I'll hide my API key because I have six of you watching this thing, so don't worry about it. Uh, anyway, um, uh, it shows you your last sync, the highlight order. I want them, uh, highlighted by the location of the highlights in the article. You can customize the metadata that comes in from Omnivore, which is super, super cool. Um, you can also decide which folder you want this stuff populated in in your vault um, So it's kind of out of the way and not just cluttering up your vault um, And then all you need to do when you want to sync your highlights is go here, but we won't sync yet Let's just go into the vault and find my previous highlights So here are the highlights. I have them organized by the day that I read the article um, Let's jump into this one by uh, Roy Sutherland. I really like this one here um, so here's the highlight, right? You've got a unique identifier. You've got the title of the article, the author, the date you saved it, the date it was published. Um, the article, a little tag for Omnivore to show um, where the information came from. Links to take you back to the article and here are the highlights, right? Here's an article with another highlight. Uh, this, uh, I think this one here, I took a bunch. So you can kind of see how they, when you have a bunch of highlights, how they format. And the real killer, killer app here, guys, is, you know, in this highlights, if you really want to dive deep into a topic, let's say I was a geography nerd, I wanted to learn more about Sussex, in my highlight, I just create a link there, and I can create a note and riff off of the idea from the highlight. Now, just as a test here, we're going to sync this. Uh, you're going to see that new highlight pop in that I just took. There you go. So the new highlight uh, that I just took while I was on this call has popped in here straight into the vaults but the real killer killer app here guys is when you resync that custom link that i created in my vault off of this uh, highlight that still exists so it doesn't overwrite that that's amazing because you could basically pop in more highlights uh from all the data you're consuming 
create links to your own notes and have your highlights and your notes work together in a vault um, to, uh, you know, create a giant graph of data, uh, sorry, a graph of knowledge like this one day. And I hope to grow this in the future. Hope you found this helpful. I'll link to the, uh, the apps page below. Uh, it's really changing the way I use Obsidian. Uh, happy hunting. Cheers.